If you're using the Everse line, whether it's the 8 or the 12, you must have the latest firmware uploaded to the speaker before each gig. I'll tell you why, coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here talking about the Everse line, whether it's the 8 inch or the 12 inch. Uh, we utilize both of them in our fleet. And I will tell you that you have to have the latest firmware on these speakers before each gig. Um, and the way that I usually do that is the night before, I always double check it on the EV QuickSmart app to make sure that the latest firmware is uploaded on the speaker. And let me tell you why. So we utilize the EV QuickSmart app, which looks just like this. I know a lot of you guys out there utilize this. Justin, the DJ, utilizes this a lot uh, at his weddings and his gigs. And he can also tell you that if you do not have the latest firmware uploaded onto the speaker, it will not allow you to use this app. It will say firmware update required. Um, and that can be a downer. And the reason I say that is because I utilize both channels on the back of the Everse, uh, input one and input two for my dual lapel microphones. We put them up here, we use the Comica HDs, um, eighth inch uh, out from the Comica receiver into left and right or uh, channel one, channel two. And this lets me, once I go into edit mixer, it looks a lot different on the iPad. But as you can see here, this channel is muted. I can mute each channel. I can also adjust volume on each microphone, such as the efficient and the groom. So if I know the efficient's coming in first, I'm going to mute the groom so that he cannot be heard um, cracking jokes outside waiting to come in or whatnot, just talking. Let the efficient give his, uh, you know, ceremony announcement that we're about to begin, unplug ceremony. And then I can mute him as the bridal party's coming in. And then when everybody's at the altar, I can unmute them and adjust the volume right here on the app. Um, if you cannot utilize that, that can be a bummer because then you're caught unplugging manually and plugging in the XLRs and having to adjust them by input volume here and using this knob. That doesn't work. I got caught uh, for some reason a couple of weeks ago, I did not check my speaker. I figured it had the latest firmware. I had just done it like a week ago. But as we all know, firmware comes out all the time. They're always updating products that we purchase. I was at a wedding. I set up for the ceremony. I went out about an hour before just to do a sound check. I opened the EV Quick Smart app and it told me that a firmware update was required on this speaker. I knew that I, I couldn't do it. There's just no way. If any of you have ever updated an, an Everse speaker, it takes about an hour for the firmware to update. So I was kind of uh, disappointed. I didn't get to use the Everse app. It was my fault. I wasn't prepared. And I had to unplug and manually plug in the XLRs in order to utilize the speaker. So that's a big pro tip. Make sure that you update the firmware, that you check it before each gig. Also, what we do is we utilize this for ceremony and then we transfer it over to cocktail hour. Usually at the end of the ceremony, I will mute both microphones. Here's an important tip. After you mute them, don't forget to unmute them before you take this over to ceremony. The reason being is we use wireless XLRs like the Chemifun system and we plug it into here. If you forget to do that, um, it will be muted and you have to go into the knob and turn it all the way up from like, I want to say it's like, uh, let's see how far this thing goes down. Yeah, like negative 80. So then you have to go back and do it manually. But yeah, that's just a tip. Just remember to unmute it and then turn off your speaker. Disconnect it from Bluetooth so that your phone's not ringing to it or anything like that if you're going to utilize it at any part of the wedding. So just a pro tip, update the firmware. See you on the next one.